Hey everyone, it's Base Junkie transmitting from Hamburg, Germany, back with a new video and well, back with one in a row of videos because I got like a lot of stuff sitting here on my desk or like right next to me, not exactly on my desk, but uh, stuff that came in recently via mail, like a lot of like envelopes and parcels and boxes and stuff and this is one of them which came in like a few days ago and as you might guess from this little airmail stamp here it's coming from Italy and I cannot remember when I had like the last envelope coming in from Italy like in terms of like promos and stuff so uh, this is interesting and it's good to see that my website and the stuff I do here on YouTube although the like views are going down more and more maybe due to copper as well uh, the stuff I do like um, that is like spreading internationally and that more and more people do recognize what I do and do like what I do so it's always like a sign of appreciate appreciation for me when new stuff comes in was sent to me on 4th of January 2020 as you can see here on the stamp and uh, now it's the 23rd took quite a while to arrive and um, was sitting here like for a few days so um, now I'm coming to this and it comes from a town called Matelago obviously so uh, yeah Matelago I guess is what I'm getting from the handwriting from Alejandra Trevian Trevisan, Trevian, um, might be a female, maybe the, the Alejandra is the like Italian equivalent to um, the German Alexandra, Alexandra, and uh, we'll see what this uh, envelope brings. Uh, it's very lightweight, so I don't know if it's like a, like, I don't know, um, these, uh, what kind, what are these called, uh, the cities which are like in uh, cardboard like cardboard printed cardboard instead of like this plastic tray thing they have a special name but I, I cannot remember right now so whatever um, it's coming in from oh yeah it is seems to be a CD like this so there is a CD coming in with like a little uh, wrapping around it which I will get rid of if I can find my blade and yeah what has been happening today um, it's my free day kind of so at didn't have to work, which was like a good thing. I worked anyway, but uh, on my website and stuff, and now on YouTube. And I met up with my old friend Linda, which I hadn't seen like in two months or something like that. And uh, we had like coffee in a chat, and I went to a very well outskirt place in Hamburg called Niendorf, which is like a quarter of Hamburg. And uh, if you like see my or uh, follow me on Tumblr or on Twitter, you have seen like photos on that, and it's like. It felt like a small town going to there and not like Hamburg anymore, so I'm very like, I don't know, um, treated well in terms of feeling like living in an inner city, in a big city, in an urban environment. And as soon as I travel like 20 minutes by train to like the outskirts, or not exactly the outskirts, but the like living quarters of Hamburg, it feels always like, uh, it always feels like, uh, well, more like small townish and not... Uh, like metropolis like and stuff so uh yeah we had a nice chat and stuff and coffee and there is news to come and stuff and uh, what we got here is a cd trapper keeper meets tim berne and aurora Neeland. actually i don't have any idea what this is but i like the artwork with the cover and the motion and the train tracks and stuff uh, a 10 track album seemingly here is the track list and the back of the CD. And uh, is this train tracks or is this like a tunnel? Might be both. Might be a mixture, so I don't know. And here is uh, inner part of the CD. And the other side, or the other side as well. Very interesting that there is like two different barcodes on there. I, don't, I haven't seen this on a CD or like in an album anyway. So here is like two barcode stuff. And um, it's a band seemingly comprised of like four members with keyboards, electronics, voice, drums, cymbals, whistles, voice, alto saxophone, accordion, effects and voice. So uh, Trapper Keeper is a name. Don't have any idea what this is, but there comes a press info alongside this um, album so we'll have a look and here is the press info and quite a bit of text so i will have a look at this uh, trapper keeper meets tim Bernard and aurora Neeland, uh caligula records digital release and cd release on april 12th 2019 
and on July 16th, 2019 in Europe. So it was like Italian release first and going international and stuff. Genre is free jazz noise, New Orleans moods. What the hell are New Orleans moods? New Orleans is for me like uh, Mardi Gras kind of and like, I don't know, a little bit of like voodoo and stuff and like uh, that kind of mysterious uh, Afrocentric African religion things like that happens only in the dark and stuff like this occult sect kind of thing. Quick pitch points, a New Orleans based duo Trapper Keeper invite alto saxophonist Tim Banner and Aurora Nealand to create a dark palette soundtrack like to any cult horror film from the 1970s. Okay, cult horror films. I've been talking about films like this with my friend Linda today. So uh, this comes like in handy or like uh, as an interesting side note. And I like these old like body horror and like, um, I don't know psycho horror things from the 70s and 60s and maybe half of the 80s but when it comes to newer stuff like Hostel and Saw and whatever there is uh, I don't like them because it's just being brutal for being brutal for the reason of being brutal is not my thing but uh, those old flicks they had like a little bit of like story to them and like a little bit of like humor and a little bit of like I don't know DIY and all the effects were like uh, you could see that there's not real blood and stuff, no real gore, but uh, very interesting stuff. Personal, uh, William Thompson IV, Marcello Benetti, Aurora Nula, Tim Berne. Dropper and Keeper centers around the unique connection between Italian drummer Marcello Benetti and American keyboardist William Thompson IV, freely improvising sonic textures with many influences steeped in the music and culture of New Orleans. A lot of credits in there, so uh, musical journey, etc. A lot of links as well. So uh, here it is, uh, Trapper Keeper featuring Team Banner and Aurora Newland. Very interesting cover. I'm intrigued by this and um, also intrigued by the typography which I really like because it's simple and plain and still like uh, looks good which is uh, always a bonus point for this kind of albums and I am well curious what is happening with this and uh, as usual, expect a review to pop up on my website, nightstyles.ce, like in the next days or in the next weeks. Um, links to all that will be down in the description box, of course, like social media. Nightstyles Lost Reviews, my website for archiving my German reviews from the past and stuff, which I have like pre-prepared so I don't have to worry for content for the next 140 weeks or so, and uh, there will be more content to come. And yeah, Twitter, Instagram, all the good stuff, Tumblr, if you want to get the whole Bass Junkie thing, just follow all those channels and stuff. And if you like this one, you know the score, give me a like, uh, leave me a comment and all that stuff. And I'm going to see you in the next one. See you later.